you go out in the garden and turn over some rotting leaves, there's a good chance you'll find these little creatures. Long, shiny things with pincers on their tail. And they're called earwigs, which is a pretty peculiar name. So here's the question. How did the earwig get its name? Well, how did the earwig get its name? Actually, no one knows. But there are two possible solutions. First of all, you saw them when they were on the table crawling under leaves. They love little spaces. And the English thought that they would crawl into your ear and with these ferocious looking pincers here, bite their way through to your brain, turn you mad or kill you. And the French called them the ear piercers and the Germans called them the ear worms for the same sort of reason. But that's a myth. They have no business in the ear. In fact, they eat uh, rotting vegetation and they don't get into your ear at all. So that really isn't the solution. And these pincers, although they look ferocious, have no poison, don't really hurt you, and in fact were probably used to hold on to each other when they were mating. Well, there's another solution, and it's perhaps a better one. With those that have a back wing, when they spread it out to the side, it has rather the same shape as a human ear. So it's probable that the ear wig started by being called an ear wing. <laughs>